Hello beauties, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaya Moore. On this channel, I just love to give great easy tips to help you on your hair journey and honestly so that it is stress free. And I also love to embrace and encourage self love as well. On today's video, I'll be showing you ladies how to keep your hair hydrated and moisturized midweek. And even in between wash days, I think it's a great way to keep our hair moisturized, especially going into the fall winter season, where our hair sometimes tend to feel a little more dry. If your hair feels more dry, just kind of all season long, no matter what season you're in, this would be a great method just to kind of incorporate into your natural hair routines. And also just another way to stretch your wash and goes. I love this method because it helps me stretch my wash and go. So let's get right into the video. I hope these tips really help and encourage you to keep your hair um, hydrated, moisturized, and always remember too, it is a great way for your hair growth journey if you're growing your curls out, okay? Okay, ladies, so basically when um, it comes to co-washing, it really isn't for everyone. It can either get rid of the product buildup or cause product buildup. And this is something that I just kind of discovered over the period of time. So make sure you test out your co-wash before styling your hair. Um, and also to, you know, anytime you use a co-wash, I like to stick with the same brand. Sometimes that helps with product buildup. When the co-wash is already familiar with the product previously in your hair, it, it will most likely take out and get rid of any white residue. So that's something just to keep in mind. Um, for the curl, the wash and go that I had before, I used the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Argan Oil, so it was very easy for the co-wash to actually strip away, not harshly, but just get rid of the product that was previously in my hair. So so try to stick to the same product line if you like whatever your curls like stick with it you ladies know that I do have a sensitive scalp so I try to do things that are less irritating towards my scalp and that's just something that works for me so I just stick to the same brand line and I also kind of want to break down just a little bit about co-washing co-washing is great for keeping your hair moisturized of course without stripping the natural oils and it also softens your curls it keeps your scalp moisturized especially if your hair and scalp seems to be dry all I did was saturated my hair with water and then I just applied the product to my hair and scalp and just massaged it and kind of treated it like it was shampoo at first with the massaging of the scalp and then I also applied a little more to my ends and treated it like if it was the conditioner Now, when it comes to deep conditioning, of course, it's extremely important, like an extra moisture booster. <laughs> no matter if you're doing a normal wash day or a quick co-wash, deep condition, ladies, give your curls that backup moisture that it needs, okay? And I like Ozzy Moist Avocado Mask. It's like one of my go-to old school deep conditioner. My curls still love it. And my hair always feels soft after I use it. And also, too, it's always good for me to add my peppermint oil to my scalp. The peppermint oil just acts as like a healing aid or a soothing aid for my scalp. So um, it that part really helps. You'd be surprised of just doing at taking these extra simple steps, you know, and adding it to your natural hair routine and your hair is just taken off whether you want it long or short your curls are still healthy and that's what's important when it comes to your hair journey you know i like to break my hair up into four sections first i grab a wide tooth comb i detangle my ends you know um I detangle the ends first and work my way up to the roots and then after I do a full detangle I apply more deep conditioner <laughs> and then I gently comb it out in some sections but I basically break up each four sections into two more sections and just make these small little ponytails all around my hair and then I use the old school clear plastic cap I couldn't find anymore so I just used my daughter's shower cap and covered it just covered my curls it doesn't matter what you use as long as your curls are covered and um, yeah I just let that sit for about an hour because it wasn't my normal um, shower cap but you can let your curls sit for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes you know and then um, you'll be good to go and then it's time to rinse your hair and style those curls Thank you. 
Okay, ladies, so lastly is the styling process. So all I did was use my Eco Style Gel, and um, it was the Argan Oil. I normally use the olive oil, but I went back to my old favorite, and it's the one with the red cap. I'll show you in a second. And then I use my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So super easy, um, ladies. Just keep your routine simple and fun, and don't put too much pressure on yourselves when it comes to your wash day routine, your co-wash routine, and even the styling process. Take breaks in between. Um, just let it, you know, set aside a relaxing day purposely for your hair and that's okay to do as well but all I did was just apply the product I used a dim denim brush to just brush the product through and then I did my soft coils like I normally do and then I was done I did not show the next morning on how I fluffed my hair for some reason I could not find it I did record it but I couldn't find it when I tried to um, when I was uploading all the other clips so I do apologize for that, but I basically use my Pantene um, hydrating oil and then um, I apply that on my curls like normal and then I use my fingers to fluff my hair and then I used my pick to pick out some of the curls. I didn't do too much picking this time. I just kind of let my curls be because I did want it to get more days out of it. Keep that in mind too. I think if I would have picked my curls out too much, I would have got more of a froey look than a um a set curl look if that makes sense so you guys will definitely see at the end but that is pretty much it and i will allow the video to continue Always remember, there is no right or wrong way to rock your curls. They are beautiful because you love them first, okay? So stay encouraged, keep going, love your curls. I love you all. I will definitely catch you on the next one. May your day be blessed.